chains on to come down. Oh, that is a big truck. And it's solid ice everywhere. How are you going to pull it? I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to. It's going to have to thaw out some before. Once it thaws, she could probably just drive that right out of the ditch. This is Manus Hollow Road. This is the back entrance to Sky Harbor off of uh, Booger Town, Lower Powder Mill. Just Powder Mill. What'd she say? She slid into that ditch last night. Uh, I mean, even if I get her out of it again, what, what are we going to do? The, the, the conditions now aren't any better than when she slid in it. 12 hours ago like we will we will have a hard time getting back down this hill now and she's definitely not going to get down the hill if she's and honestly that's a safe spot for it because that ditch looks small and the road is nice and wide and if people are brave enough to attempt it to go around her they have room to do so and we have no signal so hard telling where she even is Another one bites the dust. Choose your poison. The right side is less of a, you die. Yeah. Well, we don't have signal, but I think a text might go through, and I text her and let her know that, you know, this uh, road's gonna have to clear up a little bit before we're able to get to her. Road's gonna have to clear up a lot. <laughs> now see, down here, there, the tire path was clear, and that works, right? Yeah, but there's up here, there's it's a solid sheet of ice. I'm going to end up in this guy's living room down here. There was a car sitting there with four tiny little rocks holding it. Yeah, where'd they go? All right, guys, keep in mind, neutral. Put your vehicle into neutral. You don't need it pushing you, adding any extra brakes. You just want to roll slow and steady. A lot of people will have their car in low or drive or like I'm in four wheel drive and ready, but I've got it in neutral and we're just going to coast. I don't want it to push me. And I'm trying to get into this powdery stuff because as you can see, the tire tracks are just solid ice. There's a car behind us. So where did they come from? I have no idea, but <clears throat> they're staying right in the icy tire tracks. Oh boy. Standoff. So this is bad because those cars aren't going to be able to make it up that anyway. Got one behind me, two in front of me, and there's no way I'm coming back up that backwards. Is there? There's not room for them to get around you either, is there? can't back up. We'll all just sit here because she's gonna get out and yell at you. you want the microphone? There you go. Turn it on. I, I can't back up. You can't? And there it's it's solid ice all the way up to the top of the hill. So nobody's no, good to go. no, there's okay. a car in the ditch that I tried to rescue, and I can't even get to the car okay. I'm trying to rescue. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, we're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, okay. I can't. Yeah. It's, okay. It's pure. It, we'll be lucky if he doesn't slide into us. Oh wow. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. That, that's the only tire track option is what you just came up, and it goes from where you're at up goes to solid ice. Yeah. Okay. It might take me a second, but... Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, no, were you trying to get that lady up there by the gate? Oh, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, no, I was coming down, and yeah. my ABS kicked in. I said, I'd love to help, but I I, I can't stay still long enough to get that thing. She oh, yeah. Is she going to be able to get to the side for you, or...? Uh, she's going to try to turn around to get out of our way, because I was like, she's not going to be able to make it yeah, up. Yeah, I know. You're going to have trouble backing up with this heavy thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> but... just going to keep sliding, and, and uh, yeah, we were having a... A moment here, I guess. They thought that they were going to make it up this. Oh, no. I'm like, yes, there's not happening. I barely made it back down it. 
Yeah, no, I was coming up yesterday when we had that snow, and I was coming back up. I thought maybe I could make it, because yeah. I, I came down that way, and yeah. I had to turn around and go out the other exit. It's and I tried coming back up when we were done being out, and I got to the that hill right there. I started drifting. I didn't have my rear locked, and it just eventually it just started spinning. <laughs> yeah. It's very dangerous. And when you're on that hill, it's so hard to try and back oh, down or turn I, around. Yeah, there's no stop. And once you start sliding, you'll end up at the bottom pretty quick. You'll get in, you'll get to the bottom one way or another. <laughs> it may not be the way you like it, but It'll, you'll definitely make it. Ooh. Well, hopefully they can. Yeah, that lady up there, she's probably gonna need somebody with a with a pickup truck that lives right there that can get right there. Or... Yeah, she's once they clear and salt this road, she'll yeah. probably just be able to drive out of That's there. That's what I'm thinking, but. I have yet seen anyone salt these roads here. This is the worst spot. Up on the hill, it's not bad with the sun beaming yeah. down, but I mean, it was bad where I was parked. There was all the ice under me. Once I got off that, it was good. Yeah. It's just right here. It's it's just all this. I guess all the shade. It's it's having trouble defrosting naturally. Yeah, they're not doing. I think I think they intend for this road to not be a through road anyway, because there were they used to keep those gates closed up there. That's what I figured. But yeah, now they're they'll they'll take care of their property the on end, but this back road. I don't think they want anybody using it, like so they the just don't. Like the steep hill after the gate, it's fine. It's oh yeah, as it's, yeah. I've, it's I've like been a summer in, road. Yeah, I've been <laughs> on that. I was on that resort earlier, and it's all the roads inside there are completely clear. They just don't want anybody using this road. I think. Uh, this road is bad. Yeah, she's going to end up into that tree down there. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. She made me nervous. Yeah, I was debating on whether to put chains on to get back down, but I think. The, the worst is over. I think we can get back down here to our tire tracks. Yeah, and this this ain't bad, but even in these tracks, it's still a little slick in these oh, tracks. Oh, no, it's packed down. Oh, it's just, it melts melt and it gets packed and it refreezes. And it's just awful. Yeah, I think we're doing her a favor. She was about to end up in the ditch down here anyway yeah. if she was going to. I know there's another, I think it was a Yukon in the ditch back there. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, it looks like we might be, have some success. <laughs> you be careful walking up through there, man. Oh <laughs> wow. So I think the lady that's up there in that expedition, like you said, should be able to drive out tomorrow. Yeah, this is just like, I don't know. This, this, this road here was never meant to be a through road to the resort up there. Um, Sky Harbor. The Sky resort. Harbor. They're not, they don't want anybody coming in to their resort this back way. And uh, so they just don't. They just don't treat this road. They don't do anything with it. And then everybody staying up there wants to use this instead of the main mm -hmm. entrance. And this right here is just a one lane. This yeah. small portion here is just one lane. And um, yeah, during a, a bright, sunshiny, 80 degree day, you can't get somebody will come and then you're trying to get over here in the ditch to let somebody pass because it yeah it's it's a one lane it's a one lane road it was never meant to to have this volume of traffic on it and they used to keep those gates closed but they opened them during the fires and uh and then everybody just yeah just got took used advantage to it. of it i guess yeah. after they opened it up for the wildfires well, i don't think i'll need my boom i always have my boom ready to drop my ice cleat Are they gonna, is this van gonna attempt to go up there? Hopefully they'll turn around. Oh, I hope she doesn't. Good luck. It's been this way all day. That's the second one we've tried to get to that we just cannot, can't get to them. Yeah, we just wasted our time uh, getting that lady her car back. But they'll still be there tomorrow. In the ditch still, I'm sure. I'm Jeff. Jeff. Okay, I couldn't quite hear on the phone. I think I spoke to you earlier. You, you had the, uh, I yeah. thought you had a Dodge pickup truck. Yeah, that's not mine. That's uh, not yours. Okay, that's that was our big question. I was like, yeah, uh. Yeah, and they, I guess they went off as well. Well. We can't so get I that guess I'm glad that we got stuck where we're at. And yeah. around that corner. Did they enter this way? Um, I, did you go up this way? No, we came up around the another way. Another way. The other GPS way. was not our friend on this. And we were, the road was good right up until that point, but now when we look down it, it's ice from that side. There's yeah. a nice ice trail right up there just past that one. And when I called the sheriff, 
Yeah. They don't know if this is even county. This is private. Or if it's, it's, it's private. Private. So yeah, it's private. I so, don't know what we're going to do about getting that truck off that road. Yeah. I'm it's, hoping it'll maybe dry up enough tomorrow. It's supposed to warm up pretty good, but. Yeah. Um, do you have a card so I can reach directly to you all tomorrow? See if it's a possibility y'all be willing to do it tomorrow. Oh, let me get my phone. I can't pick I think I'm sliding. Uh, <laughs> are we sliding? I was, yes. You, you roughly have an idea if you were able to get to it tomorrow or the next day of what it would cost to get us down from here? I, without knowing what you're in? It sounds like they, if they salted the roads, you'd just be able to drive out of here. Well, the problem is when we slid the front wheel went off in the bank, it's pretty much like this right on a curve. Okay. okay. So we just need to fly up to see if I can tap okay. out where I don't need Probably just probably need winch backwards. Yeah, as long as we can get, yeah. Here's my okay. But yeah, as long as we can get up there to it. Um, I'd rather. That's half the battle is getting to you. Getting to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather do business with somebody that was willing to try to come out and yeah. help me then, and I'm going to be disputing that other at Yahoo. Yeah, I don't know who that company is. They're not even here. They're not. Yeah, that's what we found out too. And now I'm gonna call my credit card in the morning and be like. Yeah. That, don't pay that. Yeah. If you if you guys search Lying somebody, make sure that they've got like a, a an address here. I directly asked him. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute yeah. liars. Absolute liars. Yeah. I uh, so, I wondered when I was on the phone with him and he wouldn't give me any of your information. I like he, already, he that's a red flag. <laughs> he wouldn't give us any of your information. We were in such a tired spot. We're like, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I understand your guys' situation. Sure, like. We shouldn't do that. I'm like, I don't know if we got another option. Yeah. Well, that's why we have credit cards. Exactly. Insurance. It's insurance. So. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm like. If yeah. Worst case scenario. Yeah. He calls back and like, it'll be eighty more dollars. What? <laughs> like, what? I tell him to. Uh, go off on you. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, Hold on. You probably so, should have let her. <laughs> no, they're. It shouldn't well, be yeah, eight hundred dollars. Like, okay, got it. New scam. No, yeah, that's that's not. It won't be anywhere close to that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Um. I think we gotta go that way, right? That way. You going back up? Yeah, I think so. It says it's only about nine minutes. So. Okay. Um, well, guys, be careful. And I'm sorry I couldn't help you, but. Uh, you know what, man? I appreciate you coming out. Well, and <laughs> at least trying. I appreciate. Yeah. It. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's a whole lot. Yeah. I had a wallet right now and some cash in. No, 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 no. You guys, yeah. But, uh, the important parts, you guys be safe. And uh, yeah. it sounds like the truck's in a safe. Well, obviously, nobody can get to it. So. They can't get to it from this side. They're gonna get, we had a, and I should have had him. He was surprised out, but he was going further up the mountain. The maintenance guy. Yeah. Cabin right behind us had the pipe froze. So he couldn't even get his, his four or four drive. Up the maintenance the guy is the one that's supposed to. So yeah. Back up that way for him. I'm like. They have their own plow and salt truck for here oh, so okay. if you've rented a place okay let then them let them know because they take care of their own roads up here and he has a truck that he chains up and and uh, he has his own stuff so do okay. give the first thing in the morning that's what i would do is get on the phone with them okay. tell them that you're stuck and you need the salt truck up where you're at okay. and uh they should be able to help with that okay. and uh, right. but yeah just give us a call and let us know and what's going on after that but it it'll probably thaw out pretty quick we're supposed to get some decent weather tomorrow so yeah we'll stay warm guys we're going to do our best <laughs> thank you sir you're I'll very welcome hopefully you, you took a picture of this of the truck anyway hopefully yeah <laughs> i can give him another card i can give you another card if you here you go i might actually put my just in case. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna. All right, sir. If I can slide down out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's been an ordeal here the last week or so. So yeah. be careful. Okay, YouTube. So that car that's up there. Turn your bright bright lights, baby. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> they're all. Oh, on. they're on. Okay. <laughs> that car that's up there. It's not their car. They're in a truck, and their truck is stuck further on up the road. And as you can see, it is so nice. The snowstorm was a week ago. We're up here in Sky Harbor. We've not been able to rescue anybody up here in Sky Harbor because everybody is stuck. So this ice. is this is our third phone call that we've attempted to try and, and rescue and 
no cannot do it like that there's a whole other car that's just hanging off the cliff up there even if you wanted to get to it can you see it from here yeah kind of i wonder if we could shine a flashlight here i got the daymaker so that car is right there guys i don't know if you can see it or not Kendra will do an amazing job. She'll zoom in on that thing. It's up there, guys. So you've seen what it looked like when we pulled up. If it comes the rest of the way off of that tonight, which is a very good chance it will, that's probably 200 foot to the bottom right here. So I don't know what's holding it there, actually. It looked like it was uh, snow piled up underneath the... It was centered. So... Like, I was sitting there talking to him, and we were sliding down the hill while I was talking to him. So. And that was four-wheel drive low locked-in brakes and he was talking about that that company too that dispatches people if you guys watch the channel i won't get into a huge rant i'm just going to give you the necessary uh if you're new to the channel rundown so uh, there are companies that say they're towing but they're not if you need a tow truck and you google somebody feet, turn right to stay on beachfront drive make sure they have an address local to that area so it's fascinating to me that that people will just see an icy covered road and just go drive on it. That's it's. Do you find that interesting? No. Not at all. I mean, back when we were like young and dumb, we would like go look for icy roads to intentionally drive on. Apparently, I'm still dumb and old. <laughs> I'm out trying to do this stuff. Didn't get any sense as you got older, huh? Okay, so if you go left up here, it's Beachfront Road again. If you go right, we leave. This is where you turned around and Chuck was behind us. Yeah, I couldn't get down that road either. Yeah, I know. I just wonder if it looks any better today. Apparently not. He's stuck on it, so. I guarantee it still looks the same. Chuck was actually texting me and said all the roads at his house look the exact same as they did four or five days ago. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll get him out tomorrow. Are they getting in the red truck beside it? <laughs> okay, you gonna be able to get it? Wheels are turned. Uh, yeah, you should be able to, huh? <laughs> yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to put this on and I'll help you with the straps? I just got this one hook right here and then I'll uh Thank you got no you guys are okay Well, I can't believe we did I didn't do a very good walk around it has the uh, The sticker for the place That we that okay. called us it's locked. Guys, they're eating at the Mexican restaurant and they must have been seated way back in the back, but uh, they didn't pay their bill. So uh, the uh, car lot wants it back. Everything auto. Hello, this is. Yep. I have a question. Do you have, do you have the vehicle? Yes, ma'am, we do. Okay, thank you. Let me, let me give me one second, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will just give you a call back. Yes, but we have the person on the phone right now, and we're gonna talk to him, and I'll let you know if they want to pick up the vehicle up there in Tennessee, or if they're gonna come in person in here. Okay. Yeah. Just let us know. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Bye. Everything auto. Hi. Is this Jeff? It is. Yes. 
This is from Alabama. You're amazing. You got Toyota. <laughs> I, you listen. I can't believe they didn't came. They didn't come out. They were eating at that Mexican restaurant, and we pulled, and they were right up front at the front windows, and I pulled away, with it, and nobody ever came out. Wow. Okay. Well. As I told you, I work from home on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so we're trying to coordinate this. First off, you told me we could pay you with a credit card, so somebody from the office will be calling you. Do you want American Express or Visa? It doesn't matter. Okay. Then these people have already called, and they want, at minimum, their possessions out. So you told me that I could share this phone number, and that you needed a minimum of an hour's notice, and someone is always available 24 hours a day, it was that, or I misunderstood? No, ma'am, that is correct. If, as long as they can give us about an hour, and uh, we'll, we'll make sure we get the appointment set where they can get their belongings. All right, now, the thing is, we don't, we don't think they can afford to pay us, which, you know, so we're paying you the okay. but uh, we would like their key before you surrender it to them. Uh, their possession. Yes. Yeah. I always make sure I try to do that. I say, hey, you, you cannot have your belongings unless you give us the key. So that's kind of our protocol as well. Okay. All right. So I think I've gone over that. So I'm going to share this phone number. Do they pick and make the meeting just in case they ask? Yeah. It's our Gatlinburg impound lot, 221 Newman Road. All right. Hold on a minute. 221. Okay. All right. Very good. And the zip code, just in case they ask me. 37738. All right. When I hang up with you, uh, I'm going to call the office, so they should be calling you shortly uh, with a credit card. Okay. And will you be available to take that that way? Because I know you're not going to give up these possessions until you get paid. And then uh, we've got to make our arrangements. We have seven days to make arrangements to see you uh, how to get it down there. I'm praying they have the money to get it back. That would be but, the easiest solution, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, elsewise, we've got somebody that's going to come up there, a driver, and pick it up. And he likes to work really weird, well, excuse me, I shouldn't say that, really weird hours for me. I, I'm a 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. person, but he likes to work 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yeah, so that's, that's your lot's going to be perfect if it's there 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. If he, if he wants to, as long as he can give us a notice he's coming, we'll make sure we, we get him the vehicle. Fantastic. Well, I think I've bothered you as much as I need to. And the email is going to be... Okay. Because you said you'd send us a credit card receipt. Yes, ma'am. You'll require a picture ID. Yes, ma'am. And anything right. that's, and anything that's um, bolted down, they will not be able to take. Very good. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Be safe. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know. We didn't really get a whole lot of intro on that one. Um, it just kind of happened really quick. Uh, we got a uh, car lot that reached out to us and, and wanted to know if we could help uh, with a repossession. And I don't do them a lot, but when we do, they're, they're GPSed and uh, they're very easy. They're very easy to take care of. Um, these folks are... I think a little over three months behind on payments and uh, lo and behold we they're from Alabama I believe it is and, and um, they're here in Pigeon Forge eating some uh, some delicious Mexican food. I'd say I'm kind of jealous. I'm really jealous like I was about to go in and see if we could eat first before I hooked it up but uh, listen guys I cannot I, I, that's just crazy I, you, you, you'll see the video we pull up there's all of the windows that face the road. I backed the tow truck all the way down and hooked this thing up. And I've taken my time, guys. I just didn't hook and book. I got out and I strapped it down and chit-chatted with the lady next to me and uh, and we and we drove away. And then we we probably got I don't know five or six blocks down the road and they must have had the car lot's number on speed dial because the car lot called me and said, hey, uh, they just called me and uh, they want their belongings. And uh, so anyway. That worked out good for me, but bad for YouTube, because I'm sure YouTube wanted to see them running out with Mexican food dripping from their mouth, and we'll see. Uh, you heard it. 
going to see if we can get their belongings back. Hopefully they can come up with the money just to catch up their their note and uh, get them their vehicle back. I'm not sure why they're they're here running around vacationing and not paying their car bill, but hey, each to their own, and uh, we'll bring you the footage when they come to pick up some belongings. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the heck's in it. But it looked like it had all kinds of stuff inside of it. Finance company is here to pick up this Toyota. Still locked. Everything in the bed is still there. Just our final walk around before they take it. Just to show that all of their stuff is still in there. As it was when we got it. Even if they wanted to pay the payment and get caught up, now they know it's got GPS, so then they probably will put the tracker down and pull it off there. There we go. <laughs> this fella has a key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, man, they Where's were at the he? restaurant eating when I got it. Where are they? So I, I got up and, and took off before they come back out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's safe wear and tear. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, that's not a bad thing about these, man. These, these things are heavy. They're heavy. Do you get open? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that's always my concern. You know, people don't come and pick up their belongings and the repossession company comes to get them. You know, we don't have any keys, so um, he's got an extra set of keys from the finance company and all of their belongings are in it. So that's completely on them, how they get their belongings back. Um, I just don't want to be accused in any way, shape or form of uh, taking anybody's belongings. I was just responsible for getting the truck and holding the truck for the finance company and uh, the rest is on them. He's loading it up on a trailer and he's back to Alabama. He's probably going to have a hard time. That He's got a little Chevy truck and, um, boy, that Nissan's heavy. That Nissan's way heavier than... I think it's a Tundra, but it's still heavy. Oh, yeah, the Toyota. The, yeah, they're really heavy. But he's just got a little bitty flat trailer. Golly, I don't know. Just even fitting it on that trailer is going to be tough because he just got a little bitty... Uh, it's a little bit. I don't even want to think about it. Coming up through the mountains with that thing on the back of that little 1500 Chevy. Yeah, it makes me nervous. So anyway, glad I don't have to do that. And um, we're going to move on to the next one. So stick around, stay tuned.